Hi guys, uh, this is Srinivas once again for you. I am working as the Ashram Professor in Pyra College PG courses. So today I am going to teach you an important concept in probability that is Bayes theorem. So we have a minimum of 4 to 5 models in this Bayes theorem. Now I am going to teach you the first model in this Bayes theorem concept. So that is, so we have a 3 boxes called a box 1, box 2 and box 3. And then the contents are, uh, so in box 1 we have 1 white, 2 black and 3 red bars. Whereas in box 2, 2 white, 1 black and 1 red bar. And whereas box 3 concentration of 4 white, 5 black and 3 red bars. So the, the question is, one box is chosen at random. So out of 3 boxes we have to select one box, the first step. After that, in that we have to select two bars, we have to draw. From those two bars should be, is happen to be white and red. Then what are the probability that they came from box 1? So these are the questions. So actually based on is one of the answers of conditional problem. We have all of the conditions here. Now I am going to solve this problem by using base theorem. That is first. So first of all we have to define the events for this probability. So that is let even be the event of Selecting box 1 E to be the event of selecting box 2 and E3 be the event of selecting box 3. So first of all we have to define what is even E2 and E3. So what is even the event of selecting box 1 and E3 is all about the selecting of box 2 and E3 is all about the selecting of box 3. So in this problem we have to check out first we have to select a box is selected and first we have to select the boxes. So that is now I am going to write the probability of even. What is P of even? Probability of selecting box 2. So the form of the probability is M by N. What is M by N? That is a favorable number of cases by exhaustion number of cases. So we have three boxes. Out of three boxes, I am going to select one box. Out of three boxes, I am going to select one box. That box should be a box one only. That is one C1. Only we have one box. So the value is one by three. That is the probability of selecting a box one is one by three. In the same way. Probability of what is P of P2? Probability of selecting box two. So we have three boxes. Out of these three boxes, we have to select one box. So that is. Again, out of three boxes, I am going to select one box. That box should be a box two only. That is, we have only one box. So that is one by three. Again, see similarly, P of P3. What is P of P3? Probability of selecting box three. Out of three boxes, again, we only select one box. That is three C1. If that box should be one, that is again one by three. So the first part is over. So if you observe the question here, first we have to select a box from out of the three boxes. So the first part is over. So we selected a box. Now we will move on to the next one. That is we have to select two bars. Those two bars should be one is white and one is red. Now I am going to define an event A. Let A be the event of drawing two bars which are white and red so depending upon the question we are going to define the event so I am defining an event A what is event A? I am going to draw two bars which are white and red so we will move to the condition for here P of A given event what is P of A given event? probability of happening of event A when event is already happening here what is A? probability of drawing two bars which are white and red from already selected box 1 so in box 1 we have the total number of bars are 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6 out of 6 I am going to select two bars those two bars should be white and red so we have one time that is 1 C1 into 3 red that is again 3 C1 that is equal to 3 by 50 that is 3 1s are 3 5s are 50. Now the same way P of A given into what is P of A given into probability of happening of an event A when it is already happened that the probability of drawing two bands which are white and red from already selected 
what is E2 box 2? So in box 2 we have a total number of bonds uh, 4. Out of I am going to select 2 bonds. Those 2 bonds should be white and red. So in that we have 2 white. Out of I am going to select 1. And again out of 1 red I am going to select 1. That is again 2 by 6 that is equal to 1 by 3. If we have a side to calculate, uh, we will get the value of 4 C2. Now finally we have the probability of A given E3. Probability of happening of an event A when E3 is already happened. So in box 3 we have the total number of bonds are 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, 12. Out of 12 I am going to select 2 bonds. Those 2 bonds should be white and red. So in that out of 4 white I am going to select 1. And out of 3 red bonds I am going to select 1. That is again 12 by 66. These are it. So if you observe the question on a few. So we selected a box. One box we already selected. And again we are going to select 2 bonds which are white and red. So already the, this part is also over. Now we have to find what are the property that they came from box 1 by using base theorem. The condition for base theorem is That is P of EI given A. That is P of EI given A is equal to P of EI into P of A given EI by summation I equal to 1 to N. So we have the, the number of boxes are 3. That is why I am writing the value of N equal to 3. That is P of EI into P of A given A. So the required probability is what are the chances that those two bonds are white and red will be taken from box 1? So we have to find for box 1. So the required probability is P of even given A. If a question consists in what are the probability that it came from box 2, then we have to find P of E2 given A. If it is for box 3, we have to find P of E3 given A. So if you answer the question, we have to find what are the probability that they, they came from box 1 only. So, that, so that's why we have to find P of even given so the formula should be like this P of even into P of A given even Now I am going to run this summation If I put I equal to 1 here That is P of even into P of A given even We have a summation means plus If I put I equal to 2 That is P of E2 into P of A given E2 If I put I equal to 3 That is we have P of E3 into P of a given E3. So already we calculate all the values B before that. What is P of E1 property of selecting box 1? So what we did in the first step that is 1 by 3 we got 1 by 3 into P of A given E1. That is the value of A, A given E1 is 1 by 5 by what is P of E1? The value we got 1 by 3 into that is P of A given E1 is 1 by 5 plus again what is P of E2? Again 1 by 3 into P of A given E2 is again 1 by 3 plus P of E3 is again 1 by 3 into P of A given E3 is 1 by 66 so after final values we will get 33 by 118 these are about probability of those two bonds came from box 1 so the probability is 33 by 118 this is all about the required probability Thanks a lot for watching this video. Thank you.